Yes, I'm talking to you. What, what, what do you mean that you couldn't add me? Okay, well, let's see if we can get everyone in. Are, are you here? Are you here? Uh, this? Yeah. Okay. We have this yeah, side. We have Marcel. And we're Bobless. Oh, we have a Bob. Oh, Bob is yes. here. I have been trying to get Bob on the line for the last hour. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm finishing up my other podcast that I was doing. My live stream was doing. Whatever. Okay. You have a live stream? He, 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 yeah. he, yes, he, 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 he is not loyal. He goes to other people and he does podcasts. He is not monogamous. Oh, okay. That's alright. Uh, okay, before we get in the show, I have to tell both of y'all something This I This shared with me about an hour ago. Okay. This I This, I, I this, just, this, you should be ashamed of yourself. He cannot tell the gender of an animal. What? <laughs> he thought his boy... Well, I'm sure some animals are probably maybe difficult. Huh? He thought his boy... Boy cat was a girl. Um, <laughs> and he's a little old for that, don't y'all think? <laughs> I was really checky. And it is a Okay, I, so we don't have to go I, into animal anatomy. I, I have a question for uh, Dark One, though, because I think it. Only he can answer this for me. I was trying to remember a show on uh, Spike TV where they had painted people of history fight each other. History? Yeah, fighting each other to the death or whatever. The only one I remember that did anything vaguely like that was Celebrity Deathmatch. Oh, but you don't remember anything like that on Spike TV? No, I don't. I don't even think I've ever seen Spike TV. Yeah, and I'm, I, I just, I was never the biggest fan of it to begin with. I, I watched it before it was Spike TV when it showed actual stuff, and then it just kind of. Well, shoot, I don't even see Spike TV. Yeah. Was that uh, actual television? Well, uh, 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 no, when it was, it, it, okay, there was some other network that became Spike TV that wasn't Nashville Television, that was something else, but they merged and then Nashville Television went away, Spike TV was born, our heads all TNN? Hurt. Might have been, I don't know. It was just labeled TNN, That's, yeah, then it became Spike TV, or Spike or whatever. G4 used to be tech TV, but now it's G4, and now yeah. it's going to be called GQ. Because the hipsters apparently need to watch more TV. Whatever a hipster is, I don't know. <laughs> and, and yes, sorry, Rusty, I've been busy. I know, I do, we're just, I we're, been busy. we're I fucking been busy. with you, we have to. <laughs> Uh, 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 okay, what 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 do we want to start with? Do we want to start with news? What the fuck? A Apple? Well, we can do my last uh, uh, razor update. Yeah, get, get, you know, get, yeah, uh, yeah. What is right. the she latest has, status? She, has, uh, she likes the phone now better than better than the iPhone overall. Basically, she says she's she's she is. Happier with, with her uh, droid race. And I said, What bugs you about it? And she said, One thing that bugs her about it, and it only happens on the lock screen, uh, is is that she says that um, on occasion she has to retype the security. So um, she said that's the only complaint, but overall she said the internet browsing is awesome. Uh, that that <clears throat> recently, she, you know, she does her. This bank, which sometimes has to go to, and that wasn't supported on the iPhone, so that was good. And she's now got more gizmos or gadget widget things running, and uh, she's got like some photo damn thing running on there. I mean, she, it's, it's moved on beyond me at this point, which the i which the iPhone never did. This is my point. In other words, my wife's ready to take the Droid Razor on her own and just do things that I go and look at the phone and go, wow. Versus the iPhone. 
that always stay the same. The same man, same everything. On this, on this toy razor, she's built up, you know, a little, all these little things that she now uses and does, and puts them where she wants them. And, uh, she's got that all man. That did not exist on that. I think that's a big compliment to, to, to the toy razor. Uh, and, and and the biggest point you're pointing out there is she largely did it on her own. Correct. <laughs> yeah, and now I'm at the point where I have to ask her, okay, what did you do here? And that never happened. <laughs> you know, that's the best part when your non techie partner has out geeked you. <laughs> I have to out geek them. I'm like, what is this screen? Oh, is this my photo stuff? And I'm like, what? Okay, whatever. I don't even know. It's like, fine. Just whatever. Because <laughs> sometimes I like her navigation on the phone, and she has her. She's got her chats running now, and oh my god, you know, it's it's fluff central, uh, granted, but it, it's, it's multitasking it's, fluff central. Yeah, but 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 it's it's, it's personalized. Never, yeah, it's stuff she never had. She never asked me how to do, set up, or anything. And that's the I mean, true gift of Android. They'll leave you alone. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, I, I mean, on the iPhone, honestly, I'd get questions like, how do you delete an email? <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> that, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, the I other... Huh? I think insinuating that personalization is a good thing. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> she loves that. But, 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 but that violates the first rule of the covenant of Apple. Yeah. No, she that violates that. the first rule of design. Uniformity for everybody. Exactly. Hey, my, my wife does not participate in any type of thing that is, could, could be slightly or in any way perceived to be social. So. <laughs> 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 that was like a political, yeah, it took a while for people to absorb that. Right? <laughs> Uh, anyway, it was it was bad. I thought that. Anyway, the other thing is, is I, I um, well, and this is also for my wife. I went ahead and purchased an iTunes Plus box, uh, otherwise known as Apple TV. <coughs> anyway, and uh, I connected that to my uh, to the bedroom where she wants to have her little iTunes movies and all that shit. So that was set up recently. And it, and it does a pretty, it does a pretty damn good job. And this um, precipitated basically getting a another LCD widescreen TV. So now, uh, if you people have been watching my videos, I used to have a 32 inch widescreen in my in my living room, which is now a 40 inch. And from from this whole wanting the the internet and iTunes and all sorts of stuff in our bedroom, I wasn't going to buy another Mac Mini, so I knew. The iTunes Plus box uh, or Apple TV. Uh, you know, I like that name, but bit you screwed up because we all know tomorrow Apple's going to announce the big screen to rule them all. Wow. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, it's it's frustrating though in some parts because I do still have like the old school televisions where we're still using the, the RCA and some components things, and, and everything's going HDMI. I can't tell you how kind of frustrating that is. Because I'm the type of consumer that the damn thing has to die before I'm, I'm, I'm moving on, you know, even with TVs. Bit, so, I have a solution to that. Get your wife a sledgehammer for Christmas. <laughs> well, we, took, we took care of it. We took, we took our old TV out because she really wanted this. And I was going to buy just a small uh, HD TV to go in our bed. But my, my wife came up with the idea and says, no, let's take the, the, the one in the den put that in our bedroom. And I wasn't even sure this thing was going to fit because we have a curio cabinet type thing or an armoire, whatever you call those things. And sure enough, that damn thing fit. The 32 inch could fit in the armoire there. So I was like, wow, you know, I did all the measurements. And so we just took off to go buy a, uh, a, a DEM TV and we got, we got a, a 40 inch. So the uh, Apple TV is connected to our old DEM TV, which is now in our bedroom, and she's very much enjoying that. And I must say that their menuing and everything, she picked up on it right away. Although, the simplicity of Apple does creep up every now and then. She'd get in some place, she goes, how do you go back? How do you go back? How do you get, 
I, I, you know what? I have a solution to that. It's called a Roku remote, and I have a back button. <laughs> Which is why my Roku has a back button. Yeah, and the remote isn't even that attractive. It's this long thing with like a, a wheel and two buttons on it. Ooh. So adding one more it, it is going to like somehow ruin... Uh, okay, the, but, but the you know, th this right here, I, t I did take a look at the Apple TV and the Roku sitting next to it for mm -hmm. less money. And I took a look at the remotes. This is the mm -hmm. Roku remote. Back button, home button, a D-pad, a OK button a play pause button, a forward back button, and if you have the game one there's some extra buttons. So in other words, you have all the buttons you need with the exception of a volume button. The Roku remote could be exponentially improved by a little infrared thing on it and a volume button to control the volume of your TV. Other than that, it's perfect. Well, that's that, but she is happy to get all of our content because everything is on my network drives through iTunes and all such stuff. So that she's a she is a happy wife woman. When you have a happy wife, you you yourself become happy. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my two little uh, little updates. Okay. Oh, let me see. I, you know, because tomorrow is Apple Day, and, and we should yeah, point... But it's mostly the iPhone, right? I heard that they're not... They're not uh, oh, the yeah, I, I was making fun of the rumor going around that Apple's going to get into the big screen freaking <laughs> business. Well, I really wish people would do it. They can not people As I said, there's been a few different rumors. It's the new iPhone, it's the iPad mini, it's the TV... Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, the announcement has the stupid iPhone on it. It's the iPhone 5. Yeah. And, and the iPad mini was confirmed, and I think they're going to release that, though, later. You know, another show. Yeah, it, it'll, it'll be Tim Cook's one more thing. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, and the uh, Apple TV, that's never going to I mean, the Apple television set. Oh, never, I know, yeah, I know. That's yeah. never going to happen. I Apple, did. Well, they yeah. wouldn't have to file for bankruptcy immediately. They could do that for five years. <laughs> hey, but you know what, guys? Though, this, this, I, I, let me see this, though. I, when I was looking for reviews for televisions, I, asked, I ended up getting a Westinghouse 40 inch. Just based on reviews, and also I, I have a couple of friends that own it, uh, Westinghouse brand. Because uh, I never heard of it before. Uh, one of my friends in, in Dallas uh, had showed me his. Uh, but I did all these, you know, review checks. And there are, like, stupid reviews that will do negatives, negatives on, like, a specific TV model that says, well, it doesn't have internet. And, and I'm, like, thinking, uh, I, I just want to smack the guy. I'm like, what? You know, I, that's the last thing I, I, I even give a shit about. Go get a freaking, like, like a Roku or Apple TV or do something. What? But, and, and sure enough, you know, you go to the store, there's these smart TVs. You know, and no one's looking at them. And, I mean, I... Is, is this really going to take a No, that, the, that comment things? was planted by some... I, I, I know this because this is my profession. There is a job description in media and social marketing where your job is to go around and post awareness. And that means basically part of that is putting negative comments on stuff that mm -hmm. isn't your stuff to create brand awareness of everybody wants your stuff. <laughs> it is annoying. You know? I'm just like, okay, I, I don't want internet in there. I, want, I mean, for me, for crying out loud, I guess if you expect it to surf the internet, but then I'd expect the TV to have a browser and all of it. So then I, that raises other questions. Like, then I'd expect it to have a keyboard. Like, yeah, how's it going to perform? And all? Just leave that out of the TV and yeah, make a Roku box or an Apple TV box. Like a little thing? Yeah. Just like an empty TV. Yeah, it's, it's, that's what the smart TV market is dying. It's just, there's no point in them. It's, uh, they're pointless. 
Yeah. Well, I yeah. Think it now is just a monitor. It really has to become a monitor. I still argue that we need tuners because television will, you know, first and foremost, always be the the over-the-air broadcast. And I realize that's that's eventually going to die. Yeah, that. and I argue that that medium is already dying, and we don't need yeah. tuners at all, and that we should just no, get over yeah, ourselves and let the computer monitor and the TV monitor become one. And if I really, really want a tuner, I can buy an external tuner. Well, I mean... Well, bit, think about it. If, yeah. you, if, if you're doing traditional television medium, 90% of the people doing that, they yeah, don't use the tuner on the TV. They're using the yeah, one from the cable or satellite provider. They're not... It, it, the reality is, who uses their actual tuner anymore? Well, I still do for one. I mean, it, I really do. Oh, but you're not normal. Well, uh, maybe not. I, 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 maybe, maybe, but I do. I, now, I do know a lot of older folks that are still using over the air, and quite frankly, I, I, I do go to, uh, I don't know, they're, yeah, they're my age. They didn't have uh, an uh, antenna for picking up the digital TV, because I was going to say, I mean, the U.S. government handed out these cars where you can get these converters to go to the new digital signal. So obviously, we have logistics for that to stay around a little bit more. But what I'm more interested in saying why over the air goes away is that I am seeing definitely now more and more with Roku and, it, and everything, especially like the way Hulu. My wife is probably going to get a Hulu Plus account. Um, Which apparently you can now anything. finally get on Apple TV. Well, no, I mean, it could have been a Roku or whatever. But what I'm saying is that what I'm getting at is that my wife, I, I can see her attaching herself to the on-demand aspect versus, you know, the over-the-air. Oh, no, she I, wants I, to be able to get home. I love home. that because I, that's, and see, this is why I say adamantly, cable and satellite is dead no matter how much they fight because they cannot compete with the it's on my schedule. Not your schedule, not when you think prime time is. Prime time is the hour of day I feel like watching TV, whatever of the 24 hours that is. That's my prime time. And I can watch whatever I want during it. Cable and satellite and scheduled television cannot compete with that. It's not possible. Yeah. I, I, I'm, so I'm definitely beginning to see this. Like all of my my wife's Spanish soap operas, she are, are available on Hulu Plus. Oh ah, yes, Telemundo. I can't believe that. I was like, I, when we got the application, he goes, "What's Hulu Plus?" I said, "Well, I, I know that they're they specialize in a lot of television shows." She goes, "Really?" I mean, her antennas popped up, and she goes, "Does it have much?" I said, "Well, I don't think it has much of much Spanish at all." She goes, well, let, you know, let's let me just it search up. for it. I put the damn, put the damn uh, soap opera titles in there. The whole thing is up. You should see her eyes. Oh, hell yeah. She's like, I can watch the last ten seasons? Yes, yes. Oh, go, go away. I'm going to be busy all weekend. <laughs> it's like, yeah. She's a big Everyone Loves Raymond fan, and that's the one show, though, that no one can. Like, where you can just get the, all the seasons on the main. They carry, like, these short window frame type stances uh, of everyone loves me, but it's not where you can go season, season, season yet. Anyway, I can't Is it on Netflix? Game. No, not on Netflix. So I can't yeah. know. And see, honestly, uh, I'm of the adamant opinion that anybody who's being stupid enough because they think they're somehow going to protect the old business model to cut themselves out of the streaming model, and that's what it is. They don't want to allow streaming rights because they think somehow they're going to get people to go back to the old stuff. All they're doing is guaranteeing that as that transition happens, they disappear. That is all they're doing. Well, I'm checking again because I, I mean, you said Netflix, but I, last time I went to Netflix, they didn't have what she was after, uh, which was yeah, season, uh, how we do? No, season... Well, if they have it on the Netflix stream, it's every season. I have to retract. Netflix had, can stream everyone loves Raymond right now. Okay. So I swear to God, last week this was not a deal. Hold on, I gotta tell my wife. <laughs> Where's the wig? <laughs> Where's the wig? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what, what, what are you saying this time? Yeah, I know. Or a real cool or any of that. It, it, I mean, the only added event, uh, uh, thing with the gaming console is well, I can play games. Well, I, I, I will say um, I have done Netflix and Hulu on gaming consoles and on the boxes designed to be a TV top box. And I will yeah. tell you the UI on the TV top boxes for somebody who wants to watch video and just enjoy TV just in a streaming on demand format, it's a much better UI. It, it, it is. <laughs> it's, at least for the Roku. I can't vouch for Apple's click a button for everything TV. Well, wow, man. Anyway, I'm back. Yeah, she's happy about that. I, I don't understand this. I'm telling you, I researched, I couldn't get everyone was running anywhere on, on stream. It was, as a matter of fact, she and I were both here looking at it, and it was only available in, 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 in discs on the DVD. So we're like, ah, forget it. it, and, it, it and here we are talking, just to make me look like an ass, uh, and, and here it is, now you're able to stream it. That's the thing about Netflix, they fluctuate sometimes. Yeah, I, I, I've seen stuff like go up and down on the stream, and it, it, it that's exactly what it is. It's people pick, bickering back and forth for rights management. Well, I hope they don't take down Star Trek. You know, my son likes that, and, and, and he's on this stuff. You know, he finished all of Enterprise. Now he's on, because I'm doing it in order for him, so he's on he, Well, then shouldn't, now, you, shouldn't you start with Star Trek Next Gen, and so shouldn't Enterprise be last? No, I want to do it in the timeline, because... Okay. Uh, yeah, I did a ton, so now he's in the original series. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's weird that I still find it funny that the last episode of Star Trek ends on the track on uh, people swapping sexes. What? Uh, yeah, the last episode, uh, Captain Kirk swapped his body with a female. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Not the last episode of Star Trek, the last episode of Star yeah, right. Trek. <laughs> it, it's still funny. It's like, okay, Well, you know, he'd been boinging every alien from here to Timbuk, Panamaru, so why not finally become one, you know? <laughs> Does anybody know much about the King of Fire? Because I didn't see the presentation. I, you know what? I've been kind of dormant. All I know is something to do with its screen. I wasn't paying attention it's at all. I'll, I'll give you a basic rundown. It's 1280 by 720, so it's your 720p screen. It's, it's the it's not high def, next, high def. Okay. It, it, it's basically the uh, Nexus 7. It's got an OMA 1.5 dual core OMA processor. It's got. Okay, quick question, question. With it basically being the Nexus 7, is it still doing it at the Kindle Fire price? Oh, oh here's the thing. Uh, I heard it was 199. You have two you have you have two different versions. You have a 16 gig version and a 32 gig version. So okay. Okay. Next, got one up on the next next to seven. Okay. Uh, how much is the 16? And how much is 32? The base is 199. The 32 is 249. That's still cheaper but than the Nexus. So basically, uh, the Nexus uh, is dead. No, the no, fire no. will live. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. All the Kindles come with ads regardless. All of them do? So, no all shit. Of them do. All, all of them do. So in order to actually get rid of the ads now, seeing how Amazon backtracked on that originally, that they weren't going to let you opt out, you have to pay another 15 bucks to opt out of the ads. Oh, 15 bucks. 15 bucks is nothing, man. Yeah, I, I know. know I, I wouldn't, okay, but yeah, I get your point on principle. Yeah. And well, I, how I, is the Nexus 7 doing? I, I, you know what? I... My tablets, um, the tablets in my house actually, even with the kids, are collecting dust. The 
playbook in the Kindle Fire? Is it? I looked at my wife and said, you, you, you know, it's exciting with the hype and all that. I said, do you want a, a, a tablet for your email? And she laughed. Forget it. I don't. She's like, nah. Bit. I have a vi I have a YouTube video for you to make. Get your eight-year-old and your four-year-old and offer them their slate and have them say their response. Toys are more fun. I know. Yeah, it's... Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, but it's okay. kind of frustrating a little bit. Yeah. I mean, well, frustrating. Yeah. I spent a while. Huh? I was going to say, wouldn't your kids end up saying, where's the Wii or something instead? No, I mean, no, they, they, like, they like playing with toys better. And I mean, the Wii gets... The Wii does get far more used to the tablet, but man, do I see, like my, now, my kids are going to martial arts, Cub Scouts, uh, swimming class, you do see tablets everywhere, I've, I think I said this before, I mean, there's, I, I've seen every kind of tablet now out there, I, I can, and some I can't even identify, I don't even know what they are, they're just tablets, I know that. Every freaking one of them is playing games, that is all these people are doing with these things, is playing games. Uh, I see. Older, I, I saw you, on one occasion. You, you know what, Bit? On that note, skip down in the show notes. Go down to the Apple section on the second page. Click yeah. the first link, and the first paragraph of this really does sum up where we are right now, both in Apple terms. Summed up in the first paragraph. Yeah. Okay. Look at the first paragraph under he writes. The key point oh, is. Man, he's an economist. What is this about? Oh, oh no, this, this like. Uh, uh, an economist, I disagree with emphatically. But anyway, go ahead. What? <laughs> oh, of course, of course, Bit disagrees with an economist. I wonder why. <laughs> he's not really an economist. He's a wannabe. He's New York oh, 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 he's oh, oh, okay, Bit. The so first why? paragraph. Yeah. The key yeah. point yeah. is the optimism about the iPhone's effects, and this could basically be any tablet, any slate, anything has nothing at all, at any rate, not much, to do with the presumed quality of the phone, or we could substitute phone with device, and the ways in which it might make us happier or more productive. Instead, the immediate gains would come from the way the new would get people to junk their old. Mm -hmm. And that really is where we are in these devices right now. It's not about anything of value yeah, it's, it's about newest, yeah. how can I make you throw this throw your old one away yeah. for this new shiny one yeah. I, and I don't want to knock Apple's uh, quality but I do want to get it across to the pundits that the majority of the Apple demographic right now is not going there thinking I'm getting the best quality they're going there thinking I'm getting the coolest device currently and, and, well, and the cool is trumping everything well, and this, that's great I, I, like this, I said I don't this is one of the reasons I get very. I, I, I do not consider Apple a green company at all. You are not a green company when your business model is made on making people throw away stuff needlessly. Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't care about it. I, I, I'm just saying that, that that so many pundits want to say it's doing well from quality. No, I mean, it's earned mindship. It is indisputable that it's earned mindship. And, and that can be said about other products and our history in computing where um, the Apple legions used to bitch about, oh, the masses, look at all the masses using these stupid things and they should come to Apple. Well, now that you're number one and the masses are with you, you can't use that same argument. And I know you'd like to say that uh, the masses are there for X, Y, and Z, great quality reason and all this other stuff and wonderful font use and all this other crap, but they're, I'm sorry, they're not. I, I mean, that's just a, a reality uh, of the game that's played with, uh, with consumers. And th but you know when the mass leaves Apple, it doesn't mean that Apple's going to be making an inferior product either. I will be the first to repurchase an iOS device if it does what I want it to do. I'm, granted, I, I will. If it does what I want it to do, and 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 how I like it, I will go and repurchase an iPhone. But as the way it stands and the way I see it, it's not. So, I'll, I'll, hey, I'll watch. The, I'm going to watch the keynote tomorrow. Let's see what they do. I don't think they're going to change much. Uh, I don't think they're going with USB. I'll applaud them, at least give them credit if they go with USB, but I've thought about it. If they go with USB, it's a giant F you to everybody who has an Apple device because it's saying, yeah, you've been overpaying for a proprietary connector and you could have used the same standard as everybody else. 
if they don't, if they go to another proprietary one, it's a giant F you to all the Apple users because it said, hi, those of you who spent all this money buying the old proprietary one, you'd have to rebuy everything because that's the Apple way. So no matter what Apple does with that pin connector change, it's a mm -hmm. giant F you to all the Apple users. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, you know, it's a cool adapter for the adapter. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. It's, it, 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 it's an FU with a secondary FU of yet another five to ten another five dollar adapter for twenty bucks from Apple. Unless Apple ships the that adapter within all their new phones. Okay. Bets right now, Apple being Apple, do we think Apple will A ship the no. thing you need to solve They're the problem with the device? I'm actually surprised Apple TV came with a remote. I, I, I know I'm being funny, but but the old Apple did really bundle up a lot of nice things, like with the front row remotes and all that. It, Apple's become extremely lean um, in, in what is packaged products, so I highly doubt that.